Hi friends, welcome back to this tutorial of Automata. Now look at this transition. What this transition signifies? Here, if we apply input symbol A on a state Q1, there are two transitions. In one, machine will jump to state Q2 and in other transition, machine on reading input symbol A will jump to Q3. Right? So what does it mean? Does it mean that uh, if machine is in a state Q1 and reading uh, input symbol A, it will jump to both states? No, it means that machine has a choice. Machine can either transit to state Q3 or to state Q2. So it is not determined what would be the result, what would be the next state if we apply input symbol to state Q1. If the finite automata has such type of transition, then that automata is called non-deterministic finite automata, also known as NFA. The finite automata which we studied in previous uh, tutorials, they all were TFA. They did not have such type of transitions right now apart from this there is one more thing about nfa that is empty transitions now see this symbol this symbol represent empty string empty string means a string having not any input symbol. So in NFA we may have empty transitions. It means empty transitions are represented by labeling the arrow of transition, the arrow which is used in, to represent transition by empty symbol. Right. It means if the machine is in a state Q1, right, then it can jump to state Q2 without creating any input symbol. If finite automata has such type of transitions, then also it is a NFA. Why it is so? Because it is not determined whether the machine remains in a state Q1 or in a state Q2. Because if it is in a state Q1, it can jump to state Q2 even if we have not applied any input symbol. Without reading any input symbol, also it can jump from a state Q1 to Q2. Right? Now, there is a difference between TFA and NFA's transition functions. Look at here. Transition function of DFA takes two parameters. One is the state and second is the input symbol. It gives the output as a single state, which is the next state. But in case of NFA, it is not determined what would be the next state. So in that case, in case of NFA extended transition function takes two parameter as it is state and input symbol so its output would not would never be a single state why it is so because it is not determined what would be the next state in case of NFA so its output would be a set of states. That set may contain either a single state or more than one state. Here in case of uh, this transition, if uh, we apply use uh, extended transition function to find the transition of a state Q1 for input symbol A, then output would be the set of 
all possible states in which the machine could be after reading this input symbol. Here we have two possibilities. Machine can either jump to Q2 or to it can jump to Q3. So in this case the output would be a set of states and these states would be Q2 and Q3. Q2 and Q3. And one more thing, it never means that, this transition now means that if a machine is in a state Q1 and it reads input symbol A, it will jump to both states. It means it can jump to either one of the states which are mentioned in this set, in this output set. Right? Now see this example. Here, in this finite automata, first one, for state Q2 and input symbol B, when we apply input symbol B to state Q2, we have two transition. Machine can either state in uh, either stay in state Q2 or it may jump to state Q1, which is initial state. So here we have two possibilities. Here we have choice, right? Machine can either stay here or it can jump to Q1. So it is not determined what would be the next state. So this automata is a non-deterministic finite automata. So how would we represent its transition? Delta Q1A equals to, as I told, that its output would be a set of state and that set may contain one or more than one state. So here there is only one possibility. On reading an input symbol A, machine can jump from state Q1 to Q2. So the, its output would be Q2. But in case of Q2, if we apply B, the output would be a, obviously a set, but what would we what would be the element of this set? Here we have two possibilities. So here we will have two states Q2 and Q1. Right? Q2 and Q1. Now look at this second finite automata. Here we have only a single transition for a single for a particular input symbol. In all states, we have a single transition for a particular input symbol, right? So it is determined if we apply an input symbol, what would be the next state? Here we don't have any choice. So such type of automatas are TFA. That means deterministic finite automata. Thank you very much.